Now they claim that that thing only weighs 36 pounds, but I'm gonna tell you what. <laughs> I might be 63 years old, okay? But that feels like a hell of a lot more than 36 pounds to me. But that's what it says in the specs. So today, I'm gonna do my review of the Hover One Alpha. So let's get right to it. All right, guys, the review is gonna be, you know, pros and cons based. And we're gonna go with the pro <laughs> first, okay? We always wanna go with the positive first, right? Okay, the number one pro is that it's available right now. You can drive up to Best Buy right now and buy one of these. You don't have to order it from a distributor. You don't have to wait around for two months, you know, and all that mumbo jumbo. So you just drive up to Best Buy, plunk down your $349 or $399, depending on which day of the week it is at Best Buy, because the price seems to change during the week. I don't get that. But anyway, so you can take it home, charge it up and be riding around tonight. That is a big plus. Okay, no ordering from Amazon. Just drive into the store, pick it up, and away you go. So that's a big plus to me because this was my first scooter. Plus number two. This thing has a great power band, okay? This thing, when you have it in the sport mode, which is all I ride in, this thing, it gets right up to the 18 or 20 miles an hour right away. I mean, it doesn't you know, take 20 seconds or 30 seconds, you know, no, it, 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 there's no pussyfooting around with this thing, okay? It's got a great power band. You get on it, you floor it, and it's right up there. It, it goes right there, zero to the 20, uh, real quick. And I really like that because, you know, the way I ride with me, it's all or nothing. I ride wide open all the time. So, uh, I like that, you know? <laughs> I really like the way that, uh, that that works out. Another pro we're just gonna move right along here is the deck see how wide that deck is it's one of the widest decks i've seen on a scooter other than one of those kabu you know super four thousand dollar things you can fit both your feet on there across now i like that because when i take these long rides um you, you have an opportunity to move your feet around i don't like to keep my feet in the same spot all the time I like to shuffle them around. I'll sometimes have one foot in the front like that and then one behind and, or, you know, or I like to put them side by side. So this, you know, affords you the opportunity to do that, you know, to put them side by side like that. They claim the range on this thing. Now, the thing about this one, it, they don't over exaggerate on the range. The range, they only claim 12 miles, okay? But I got eight and a half miles going wide open. I went wide open on that uh, McKeesport trail trip up them hills over there by Kennywood Park. I rode that thing wide open the whole time, except for like one minute when I got bored of going, you know, 10 miles an hour. And I said, okay, I'm tired of that. So I just ramped it up and let it loose. You know, I ride it wide open all the time. That's just the way I am. You know, it's all or nothing. So I'm always riding wide open with these things. So I'm going to get a little bit less a little bit less um you know range than maybe person that would go 10 miles an hour okay we'll go to another one the display let's turn it on real quick it's on there's the speed there's meet speed one there's speed two and then you double click to turn the lights on and that turns that on and the bluetooth speaker which does work i'm not going to demonstrate it because it's not that good of a speaker, but it actually is functional. It actually works. There's the headlight, which works pretty good. You can see in the dark. Um, now, I like this display. It gives you your miles per hour, gives you your battery indicator, tells you if your headlight's on or not, you know, right here. I'm real happy with that. Now, I've seen a lot of other reviewers, they were moaning and groaning about, okay, it didn't have the odometer reading and, and all that crap in here. But let me tell you something, okay? I'm just gonna say this flat out. That's nitpicking, okay? That's nitpicking because the fact of the matter is the vast majority of people that buy something like this, they're gonna be riding it around their house. They're gonna be riding it in their neighborhood. They're gonna go up to their local Starbucks or 
they're gonna go up to their school playground or their parking lot of their school and drive it around or go up to the convenience store. Okay, everybody knows for the most part how far they are away from their home. They don't need a odometer to tell them, oh, you know, oh, I'm going to the drugstore. Oh, I wonder, it's scratching my head here. I wonder how far I am away. Most people know relatively where they are from their own home. I mean, let's be serious here, okay? So, I mean, it's not like you're taking this thing on some cross-country trip, okay? Like when me and Rich went to the mall a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I know the mall's right over here. It's right, uh, let's see, over here you can see pennies. I'll see if I can zoom it in, but it's right over that hill right there. There's pennies in the mall. But I know that mall is 2.7 miles away. I know that already because I've been living here for so long. I don't need an odometer to tell me that. So, yeah, that's a little bit blown out of the proportion. I like the display. I like the lights. Um, yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, I like the bell too. That bell actually works better than a couple of these other bells that I've tried. One another thing I like about it is the uh, is the ride. It's got really nice tires on here. They're wide. They're wider than the go tracks, and um, yeah, it just seems to ride really nice. And believe me, let me tell you something, guys. Since I've had this thing, I have beat the crap out of this thing. Okay, trust me, I have literally beat the crap out of this thing, and I haven't had one problem. Not one. Not one. Okay, now let me go to the cons, okay? There's only a couple of those. The stem lock right here, I can't stand this thing. It rattles. What I do is I usually just put a piece of rubber in there. You know, one of those pieces of rubber you get when you buy, you know, one of those, um, you know, gadgets you hang on your handlebars. They give you that little rubber piece in there to make up the difference in the size. I just jam one of them in there. Works perfect. No problem. But I don't like that because it does rattle, make some noise. I don't care for that. So that's kind of a downer there. I mean, I'm not afraid of it popping open because it has a nice hooky to it. But I'm not afraid of that. But I'm just saying it just, it's just not a good deal. The brakes. Now, I have worked on the brakes. But the brakes aren't, they're not really top-notch brakes. But I've got them working pretty good now. I had to fiddle around with them for a couple of weeks. And I finally got them to work good, but it's a hard pull, okay? Um, when they were really a pull and easy, they, were, no, they wouldn't hardly stop at all when I first got this thing. So you're not getting this uh, um, thing to stop right out of the box. And I, that ARCA 9 rides, he, he, he mentioned that in his video that, you know, out of the box, these brakes aren't adjusted for crap. So you're going to have to work on, excuse me, you're going to have to work on that when you get it. Um... Yeah, we talked about the range. I think the range is good for what this is and for this price point. Uh, I did get those 8.3 miles, like I said, and I beat it. I mean, I hit it wide open basically the whole time. This thing seems pretty heavy. You know, you just saw me at the beginning of the video pick it up, but it says on there 36 pounds. Now, I don't have a scale to weigh this thing, but man, I'm telling you, that thing seems a hell of a lot more than 36 pounds, right? Um... It just does. I mean, it just does. I know I'm not a weakling, okay? Uh, let's see. Okay, here's the last point. The charger. Now, you guys can tell me in the comments, okay, this charger's fine. It's it, They're all like this. Or, hey, maybe there's a problem with yours or whatever. But on mine, this charger gets extremely hot. I've never seen a battery charger get as hot as this thing. I mean, I'm, I actually watch this thing when I'm charging it. Okay, I don't. I will turn my eye off of this thing when I'm charging, or I do it out in the garage, so in case it catches fire and it's you know just burn out there in the garage. I mean, this thing, whew, I've never seen anything like it. How hot it gets! I wish I. The next time I charge it up outside, I'll take my little thermometer out there and and get a temperature reading off of it because it is, it, it is extreme to say the least on the heat. But that's about it for the cons. I love this. I love this scooter. I highly recommend buying this as a entry level get into this because this is what I did. This was my first uh, scooter. It wasn't my first bike, 
um, it was my first scooter. So uh, I I still uh, ride it to this day. You know, it's been a few months since I bought it, but I mean, I'm really liking it. I mean, I'm really liking this, especially the power, the power, man, zoom, it's right there. You're gonna love it. For a beginner, for somebody new getting into it, you don't wanna spend a thousand bucks, 1500 bucks. Man, you can't go wrong with this, man. I'm telling you right now, you cannot go wrong with this. Now, in conclusion, I do want to say one thing at the end of this video um, about safety. Um, I can't stress the safety enough for you guys with these scooters. These scooters are not at all like riding an e-bike. Okay, so just toss that right out the window. These are a lot more treacherous. I mean, you hit a pothole and see you later. You could be gone, so okay. So you know you don't want to do anything like that. You want to wear the helmet. I don't like wearing the helmet. I'm more the daredevil type. I don't like wearing a helmet, but this, uh, I for my own safety and because I'm an old geezer, I wear the helmet because I don't want to get, I don't want to get maimed because you know where I live here in Pennsylvania, I don't need to wear a helmet. There is no law that says I have to wear this helmet. So. Um, but I do it, okay? Even though I don't like to do it, I do it anyway. Because I don't want to set a bad example for somebody who's watching my video. But, um, yeah, um, I can't stress the safety enough. Uh, these scooters, uh, you can crash these things, okay? Trust me. I mean, I haven't crashed yet, thank God. But uh, there's been a couple of close ones, okay? There's a big giant rock, you don't see it. Big pothole, you don't see it. You can go, man. I mean, you could go flying out of there. So, and they're very twitchy, especially when you have one of these kind of scooters that has really tight handlebars where it doesn't have, uh, you know, where the handlebars are real close together. Those are more twitchy. They just, it just, ugh. you just got to get used to it, man. I'd say go slow. You get something like this, put it on the, the slow speed, ride around 10 miles an hour for a couple hours until you get to feel up and you gradually go up. Don't just get out there and floor it if you never rode it, because you'll be sorry, trust me. All right, guys, there you go. The big review of the Hover One. I love it, I recommend it, go get one. I'll put a link in there for you, you can go to Best Buy and get, look at it online and look at some reviews. All right, guys, have a nice day.